back by popular demand I will show you in this video how to divide time or angles using fractions whether it's time or angles it, either way it's the same 60 base arithmetic that's gonna work with this division and uh, for this video you absolutely be, have to be solid with fraction addition and fraction multiplication so I'm gonna show you a relatively simple one or easy one here on this side and on this side I'm gonna do a little more complicated division uh, what makes uh, division complicated or simple is that 60 uh, easily divides the factors of 60 are 2 3 and they go 2 goes into 60 without a remainder 3 goes into 60 without a remainder 4 goes into 60 5 goes into 60 without a remainder same for 6 uh, 7 and 8 don't 9 no 10 does okay so those are some of the factors for 60 now the I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with a simple one here. How about say 21 minutes? No, 21 hours. And this is gonna be hours here, minutes here, and seconds here. In this um, in this format, say 42 minutes and 51 seconds. And let's divide it by an easy number such as four. Okay, four is gonna be an easy number. So you can. It's, see how the, uh, the the mechanics of this works okay I usually start at the hours column and go this way so starting here going this way because that's how carrying over also needs to be done the fractional remainders will need to be carried over to the minutes and the fractional minutes will need to be carried over to seconds and added to those guys so let's get started 4 goes into 21 Mm, five times five by four is 20 with a remainder of one that's not an exponent we're gonna make a mixed number here one and that one needs to be further divided by four but instead of doing a short division or a long division or any kind of division and get 5.25 just just leave it there as a quarter it's gonna it's gonna make sense and like I said if you have any other uh, number any other number I don't know four or, or something that goes into uh, 60 easily it's the same mechanics that apply to this uh, to this division so just leave it there if it's five and a quarter hours the meaning of this five and a quarter hours is look at 21 hours divided by two that's ten and a half hours uh, split that one into four and a quarter hours so five and a quarter hours so 21 hours has indeed been divided by four and it's five and a quarter hours now we repeat the same with minutes so just leave it in this invisible hours column here for now and then we'll divide the minutes four goes into 40 10 times and then we have a remainder of two just leave it there two over four I know it's the same as one over two half half a minute just leave it there don't worry about it four goes into let me see 10 by 4 is 40 44 48 that's going to be 12 there and then uh, that's 48 uh, 49 50 51 so we have three more to go and that's the remainder three quarters so there's the fractional hours fractional minutes fractional seconds now what we need to do now is this five hours it, it drops down here to the final answer and the quarter hours need, need to be carried over to the minutes column and, and we need a, a minutes made out of it. Of course a quarter hour is 15 minutes but I'll show you how this one is done. This is where fraction multiplication comes in. A quarter hour needs to be multiplied by 60. That's how you get 15 out of it. Now a quarter, over si uh, a quarter times 60 is 60 over 4 and 4 goes into 60 uh, 15 times 10 by 40 plus 5 by 40 so there you have 40 plus 20 there 60 so answer is 15 there this 15 needs to be added to this to this amount that's already in the minutes column so I know it's kind of squeezed in there and shifting but just just work with it 10 plus 15 is 25 and it just stays there 
I know there is a fraction of minutes there, but the same story happens to it. It's gonna get carried over to the seconds column. So just work with the whole numbers here and carry them down. We're gonna get rid of that fraction too. Two over four, of course, is the same thing as one over two and times it by 60 again. That's gonna be 60 divided by two. It's a, it's a fraction, but every fraction is a division. That's gonna be 30 when you're done with the division. So this 30 needs to be added to whatever is already in the seconds column there. So here is your seconds column, 12 and 3 quarters in it, plus the 30, so that's gonna be 42 seconds. And if you wanna make a decimal out of the 3 quarter seconds, just right. 0.75, you can do long division on 3 divided by 4 or short division or any kind of division you like. The answer is 5 hours, 25 minutes, 42.75 seconds, when 21 hours, 42 minutes and 51 seconds is divided by 4. So that's fairly straightforward because the, uh, because the divisor 4 guarantees that the uh, amounts that carry over into the seconds column and from the seconds column to the minutes column they are they are whole numbers like 15. Okay let's do another one where that is not the case. Let's divide this let's divide the same number 21 out just by 8 an evil divisor because 8 doesn't go into 60 without a remainder so let's see how that one works out. 21 hours 42 minutes I'm spacing it a little bit intentionally and 51 seconds and we're dividing everything by 8 there okay to do this again I start on the left it goes into 21 mm, two times 2 by 8 is 16 and we have 17 18 19 20 21 okay we have a remainder of 5 And of course that's 5 8 because 8 is the divisor. It goes into 40 uh, 5 times. 5 by 8 is 40 plus a remainder of 2 8. And, and 8 goes into 56 times and that's 48. 49, 50, 51. We have 3 more there. That's 3 8. So, so initially we have here the two and five eighths hours, five and two eighths minutes, and six and three eighths seconds. All right, the fractional components need to be dragged over to the to the next column. The two is going to be part of the final answer. Whoops, the camera's in the way. Sorry. There, 2 is part of the final answer. Yeah, the fraction of part 5 8. Some fraction multiplication needs to be done there. 5 8 times 60. Uh, it's going to be numerator by that number. Multiply this 300 over 8. Now 8 goes into 300. Okay, I'm going to do a little short division here. 300 divided by 8 equals 8 goes into 30 3 times. Uh, that's 24 plus 6 makes 30, drop down the 0, uh, goes into 7 times, that's 56, and the remainder of 4, 8. So 37 and 4, 8 is the answer. For this one it's a mixed number, 37 and 4, 8. Now, uh, here we had whole number carryover amounts to the minute, minutes amount. And uh, and we had a whole number carryover amount into the seconds amount. Not the case anymore. Now we have a fractional carryover amount into the minutes column. And we have to add 37 4 eighths and 5 and 2 eighths. When we do add these two guys here, 4 eighths plus 2 eighths is 6 eighths. Just, just leave it there, okay? Just 6 eighths. And uh, 37 plus 5 is 42. So just write the 42 into the final answer. And the 6 eighths minutes needs to be dragged over into the seconds column and add it to whatever is in there already. 6 eighths is the same as 3 fourths, 3 quarters. 
needs to be multiplied by 60 again equals 180 over 4 and 4 goes into 180 let me think 40 times 4 by 4 is 16 so we have 2 left over 20 4 goes into 25 times okay it's 45 seconds and let's see and that's what 45 seconds gets added to these 6 seconds that's already there Okay, in this case we don't have fractional seconds there because it's 45 but if there was a fractional amount here that fraction and dot fraction would need to add again so 45 plus 6 is 51 and that 3 8 has no other fraction added to it so that's 3 8 you know if you want to make a decimal out of 3 8 just do a, a little division here uh, 3 divided by 8 that's short division format uh, doesn't go into it it does go into 30 uh, let's see 3 times 3 by 8 is 24 plus 6 is 30 uh, drop down another 0 uh, 8 by 7 is 56 plus 4 makes 60 and drop down another 0 8 goes into 45 times so point three seven five that's three seven five just ugly it's the same as three eight so if you don't want uh if you don't want a fraction on seconds there's your decimal seconds the answer is two hours 42 minutes 51.375 seconds to this division question so that's how to do these things practice it